Manani and welcome to Wisdom X Magazine. Imina ginga nyama kesha matala makesha makula makesha mashe. If you are watching for the first time, si awa we are all about sharing wisdom, healing, and sharing light for the world to become better. Today, I want to respond to a comment. Someone in the comment section was like, si akala ngani makesha. Can you pray in Isuzulu? Can you please share the basics of prayer because of a lot of people out there, they don't know how to go about when it comes to prayer. But what I'll tell you is that prayer is subjective. You can even pray within and just say, God, thank you for today. Thank you for this day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It, within. You don't have to necessarily kneel down, you know. And you also need to listen to your spirit. That days where you just want to kneel down and pray to God. That days where you will just pray from within. But leyo kulegela from within. Agunga bilindoya every day. It shouldn't be imitla nyemitla. Take some time. Kneel down and pray. And let me tell you something. Prayer comes naturally. Prayer is subjective. Because of it goes back to who is God in your life? Do you see me as your friend? Do you see me as your father? Who do you see God as in your life? Those are the questions you need to dig deep. And things that we are always doing, the activities, the music that we listen to, the things that we watch on social media, even on Netflix, on any other media, any media that we we, we just uh, engage in. Some of the content that distracts us in a way that we cannot dig deep and connect better with this divine power, which is God. Why? The music that you listen to. The music that you listen to, you consume it, you become it. Whatever that you watch, the TV that you watch, you become it. These TikTok videos that you're forever watching, you become that thing. So everything that you're doing every day, you become that. The friends that you keep, the circle of the friends, your WhatsApp conversations with those people. What are you guys talking about? I will tell you that I'm at a stage that I can't handle conversations, WhatsApp text. Like, like I can't drag a conversation these nowadays. I, I, I call and if I just said good morning, how are you, delivered that message or spoke about whatever that was important for that matter. Like what's up to me, it's just for like communication, communication in your words. And that's it. TikTok, for example, I'm on TikTok, but the only thing I do with TikTok, and then I'm out of TikTok. I go to TikTok back, check my comments, like, respond to people, respond to my DMs, then done. YouTube, for example, I post videos, I look at other creators, creators that uplift me, creators that I feel connected to. So, everything that I consume, it makes me who I am. That is why when I go to prayer, I am just able to just... Because most of the music that I listen to, it's gospel music. Who is God in my life? God is a father to me. God is a friend to me. Because of when I go to my altar and kneel down, days are different. Sometimes I speak to God like I'm speaking to my friend to say... I really need you to do this. And this is what's happening in my life. And this is what's happening in my life. He already knows what's happening. But I, I am speaking to him like a friend. The people who are my friends, we do talk, we do talk. But it's it's no longer that deep. It's no longer that rich. Because of everything, every problem that I encounter, I just take it to God. And we all know the famous prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Allah be thy name. But in Dog Melugutu Yazang Kulego, I'm emphasizing this for the last time this year. Going forward, people should be able to unleash the words and they should speak from the heart. 
call upon God. How do you how do you see him as in your life? Open your heart to him when you pray. Call him. Praise him. Thank him. Mbong Mbonge for everything. Before you can ask Mbong for everything. After Bonga, then you ask. After asking, thank. Thank him again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise. And then seal your prayer. That's it. What's important, you call upon God. You praise him. You thank him for everything before you ask for anything. Mbong, 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 mbong. And uh, when you become so deep, because of, I've picked up something about myself today, is that every time when I go to prayer, yambong. And then you ask yourself, why Because of how do you approach? How do you approach prayer? How do you deliver it to umvili ngani? And another thing for prayer to work in your life, you also need to believe that there is this power, which is God, that I can just rely, rely, rely on. So, open yourself up. Because of you will be amazed now when he's in the Ozo Beso Ikulumem Tandazwin. Ukulumu Jule. Um Tweluti. God, can you please open my heart? He shall like me na um twali song moya wa queen wele. Um feel so man like vele wen u kobo lwako. A yen zegin tandu ya kuma pezu we simo sempilo yami. Gingobele ziteni. Oh my god, because of let me tell you something. You know when you are so connected. I'm not saying people should always uh, listen to gospel, read the Bible, blah 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 blah, and all those things. But go for the things that Umoya wako prefers. Some of us English is to village this my piano and this other music, you know. But go consume things that actually make you better, that make you level up, and that. Like as exonders are closer to God, to God, so that when you are reflecting before you sleep every night, you are able to reflect about your day, reflect about the moments that you you had, reflect about your life, so that you see, you see, this is the cycle of my life. If it's a good cycle, you continue with it. If it's a bad cycle, you pray about it, you inquire about it to God, and say, God, please change, please change this. But in Tembalegile, you need to believe that there is this power that is beyond us, that is just controlling us. Sonke, 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 this power is controlling us. The only thing I prayed for at the beginning, I was just saying, God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Zikon isn't engifuna. The corn isn't angry if it's I would see But ume inkosi inga vumi ngami. I'm saying thank you, Ngiabonga. Koto angia tela nkosi. Ginige inkonze. Inkonzo yoguba nukula. Inkonzo yoguamgela. Give me peace. Give me acceptance. So that I sh you show me what exactly are you doing in my life. So now you understand and you believe that there's this power that is beyond me that I can always go to and pray to and inquire about my life. You need to believe, guys. You need to believe because you can't just be going to prayer and just saying whatever, whatever, but inside you don't believe. That's why you just feel disconnected. So, believe. Believe and open your heart. And look at the things that you are consuming. You need to change your lifestyle. If friends are falling off, let them fall off. If a certain TV show you don't like it anymore, let it 
let things fall let things fall in your life let things stop forcing stop begging if things are just falling if you were someone who used to stay on whatsapp you were someone who was into series and all of that if you are no longer that type of a person and accept this greater this better version of yourself we are going to 2023 and as we are going to 2023 you need to go there spiritually strong knowing god that he, he is this power that is beyond us that you can access any day any time whenever you want to access you just call upon him and he will just respond because he is waiting for all of us to communicate so any the footy you don't do it yourself but God is the one who does everything for you so if you start developing those concepts of believing that there is this power that is beyond us you will just push a lot of mountains and miracles will happen in your life because of there is power in the tongue and there is a lot of magic that is stored within you and God lives within us. So activate, activate the miracles that are stored within you. But let things happen the way they are happening. Be careful of the things that you consume. So if you know you're consuming piano, piano all the time, or you're just consuming all these other music that has vulgar and everything, it's just gonna block your mind and block you. You you won't be even like you won't you won't you won't be able to express yourself. Mm? I will tell you that I listened to Elevation Church, Hillsong Music. You know, I connected much better. I'm not saying these other local artists, I don't connect better with them. But Hillsong, Elevation, Maverick, but more especially, shout out to Elevation Worship. You know, when I listen to the music, not just the instrument, but the words, the words those people have simplified my life when it comes to prayer because of when i kneel down i talk about they made me to reflect about self about life about the current so i'm just talking to god about the current and i'm just saying god thank you today thank you for this thank you. little things if you could hear me praying you would say oh pumla on a trauma on a trauma but that is a prayer on its own i'm saying yes god i love you i love you i love you i love you and guess what he loves hearing that he loves hearing the mango i feel it deep within me that i'm saying yes god i love you why am I saying? And then now we're begging please you. I'm going to make it. I'm going to sing here. Go turn down. In case it is I'm thanking the whole day. Go Ibo. Um, manga zile nam change. You did this for me. You did this for me. You did that for me. I'm going to sing here. Go turn down. I got Ibo, guys. Ibo, cool again. Nivuleni inkizio zeni. Mina ngani ama kesha matala ama kesha makula ama kesha mashe. Kita kubo bo umbano no zwano no tando nga patu kwa makaya wenu. Fundano kutobelana. Kutobelana nani? Like, agube ni nkonzi yo kutobelana. Agube ni nkonzi yo kutobelana nga patu kwa makaya wenu. And enjoy the last days of December. I love you, love you so much guys. Kulega ni minga yegi. Mwah!